Hey guys, so I have here my JBL Flip 3 wireless Bluetooth speaker and today I want to show you how to replace the battery of this speaker and you can really easily do this by yourself. You don't need a whole lot of tools. I'm just going to use here my old pocket knife, then a small Phillips screwdriver and then also I have here a hot glue gun. You can also use other adhesives, uh, for example like silicone. Uh, this is just the hot glue gun is just what I have sitting around here. So I'm just going to use that Okay, so I start out by removing here this cover here this fabric cover and that's really easy to do I'm going to use here my knife and you can also use other things other prying tools and uh, You just wedge your tool right in between here and then you squeeze it in there and then you sort of wiggle it in and then do like a twisting motion to pop off here the hooks that are underneath there. This is a little bit tricky to do so you have to get used to how to do this but in the end it's going to be really easy. You're going to repeat this here on the opposite as well by the buttons. See how easy that just popped off. And then when you hold the speaker just like this here then you can spread out this cover here a little bit and then sort of squeeze out the uh, center of the speaker just out like this. So uh, now we have access here to the core. And there's a whole bunch of screws that we do have to remove here. So first there's four screws here on the sides. You see these right in there, I'm going to remove those. And then you see here around the uh, power buttons, there's a total of 12 screws here and you can either remove them all at once right now or uh, you just take out the six that are responsible to hold here this cover in place so now you can see here how easy that is to remove and then here there's the other six screws that I haven't taken out yet so I'm going to remove those two but there's also here on the one side where the uh, one of the passive radiators is that's the side opposite of the uh, charging port I'm going to remove those screws here and then we can take off the passive radiator. And now we see here the connector for the battery. You see all these wires? That's where the connector for the battery is. And for in my case, this connector is glued in position here. You see this yellow glue. So I'm going to take a knife. I'm going to uh, cut that glue loose. So I'm going to cut in between the port and the plug. And then I can relatively easily Pull out the plug and now it's time to open up the uh, cover here so by the charging port that's where I find the easiest I'm going to pry in pry in and up and then we can detach the cover but we have to be really careful when we remove that because there is a really small and fragile uh, ribbon cable in there so that's connecting here to the uh, buttons so you don't want to accidentally tear that off. So you don't want to break it. So carefully remove the cover here. And you see here the ribbon cable. Okay, so now we also have full access here to the battery and the battery is glued in place. So you want to uh, remove this here and I'm going to pry this up so that I get some access here from underneath. And I carefully do this so you really don't want to puncture the battery under any circumstances because it really may catch on fire. You have to be really careful when you do this. And I'm just going to pry this up just a little bit so that you can see here the uh, all the glues, glue and the adhesive here. So uh, and now I'm going to use my knife here to cut the adhesive so that eventually I'm able to take off the battery. Again, be really careful when you do this. Okay, so now the battery is loose, but there's still the harness here, the wires that go to the connector. And there is a lot of putty here. You see this black stuff? And that still holds the uh, battery and the cables in place. So we need to remove this. So I'm going to cut this out here. I'm going to cut it and I'm going to also use like a screwdriver to kind of scrape it off. So eventually you're going to have like a hole that's just the size of the connector here. So you can squeeze the connector here through the hole. And now we have removed the old battery. See this? 
And now when we want to install the new battery, we have to make sure that it's really secure in place. So you see here the old one was glued onto the speaker here with this adhesive tape. And then there's also on the sides, you see here these black cushions. So in case your new battery doesn't have that, then or doesn't come with it, then you should at least take some of, uh, for example, here this double-sided tape. I'm going to put this on here and at least glue the uh, battery to the speaker so that it doesn't move around, wiggle around and eventually get damaged because of that. So make sure you fasten it well to the plastic case. And then I'm just pushing here the uh, connector back through the hole, sticking the battery onto the case and then making sure that I'm not pinching here the uh, small ribbon cables there. You wanna make sure that those stay intact, otherwise the buttons won't work for you later. And then I'm already closing up here the cover. You can already put some of the screws back in if you want. And then we have here the uh, connector. Of course, we're going to plug that in. It's really uh, idiot proof here how you do this. It just works in one direction, just fits in one direction. Just don't forget to uh, plug it in. And then I'm also using here some uh, hot glue. And by doing so, I'm just making sure that the connector doesn't fall off. Uh, by accident later on when I'm using the speaker and then it wouldn't work and I would have to take it apart again and then I'm also adding more glue here where the uh, wires go through this hole I'm using hot glue you can also use other materials like I've seen other people use silicone or more uh, other adhesives so uh, but hot glue works fine for me then I'm going to attach the uh, passive radiator again you really want to make sure you attach this the right way so take a look at the radiator you see these little cutouts here on the top there's two cutouts and when we look at the uh, plastic case here we also see b two bigger holes here on the top so those holes have to line up perfectly and then you know how to install the passive radiator just put all the screws back in and tighten them really tight and then we already put the other uh, cover back on and again there's the uh, 12 screws that go in here so you want to uh, tighten all those down. And then of course the uh, last four screws that you should still have are the smallest screws here. Those go into the sides. And now uh, we put the cover back on. Make sure you put this on the right orientation. Look where the uh, buttons are on the speaker and where the symbols for the buttons are on this cover. You just slip it over here. And then I'm just starting on one side here. I'm going to press this firmly in so that it clicks right in position and once I've done that then I'm going to just work my way around here see how I'm rotating this and I'm going to press the cover onto the speaker and that works perfectly to get it right in position until I'm all the way around and now I can click it in on the other end here. Okay so this was already it the uh, battery replacement for the JBL Flip 3 Bluetooth speaker. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any more questions or comments, leave a message below.